Hello guys, welcome back to a new M Weekly. I'm all dressed for kind of spring autumn. Again, my voice is gone. I feel like this weather wreaks havoc with, havoc with me. Why can't I speak? I am just heading out, just been for a meeting, and I'm heading out on the tube to go and meet Emily. You guys will know Emily if you watch my travel vlogs. We have a nice catch up first and then we have afternoon tea. We've been invited to afternoon tea at the Shard. I am so excited and it's for breast cancer awareness which makes it even more special. So I'm honored to be a guest of them. Then I'm going straight to a dinner and then I have like, well I have like a pre-dinner dinner and then a dinner. So I'm super excited. My dinner after is with the Fairmont group. I'm actually a customer of the Fairmont and the fact that they've invited me to go to a dinner with them tonight as their guest is just amazing. So I'm very excited to see what's going to be unveiled. Okay, that's a lot of talking. Let's get on the tube. I'm actually going to walk first then tube because I need to get a bit of exercise in and I could do with a bit of fresh air today. The next station is Monument. This is why we're having afternoon tea today. Inside there. Are. Oh wow, you weren't lying, that's fantastic. Next stop is by Chloe. This is an amazing Thai salad. How good does that look? We've got the artichoke dip with some chips and a guac burger, which is meant to be out of this world. Good morning, so I've made some overnight oats. Yum, I had some in a restaurant the other day and I realized that I really miss overnight oats. So I put oats with coconut water and raspberry and some peanut butter, some raw cacao and cinnamon. So, oh, and honey, so I hope this tastes nice. Okay, so I started the day with some overnight oats. As you can tell, shock, I'm still nasal. I've got this little cardio and some gym kit because I'm actually heading to a mental health event this morning. It's World Mental Health Day and I've been invited to go to like a workshop about mental health and then a robots fitness class, which is so exciting and amazing that I've been invited to go to this. So I'm gonna head there to this little press event they've got going on. Um, one of my friends is coming with me and then I have a ridiculously exciting day with Cadbury. I'm not sure what's going on and also, again, just disclosure, I've been working with them on Instagram but none of this vlog is sponsored with them. Um, I'm just vlogging my day and I was like, I have to take you guys with me because I'm not actually sure what's going on. So, first things first, let's go to the workshop then we've got a little fitness class. Lol, I'm wearing all green. <laughs> So we didn't have time to do the workout, but we did do like a mental health workshop, which was really, really cool. But then I had to dash off and everything overran a bit, which was fine. So I'm gonna do a spin class tonight instead. But that was robots organizing like a mental health event. And we had a piece of paper and we had to jump all of our thoughts on it. I didn't film it because it was more of like a personal thing, but it was really cool. And I would definitely recommend people dumping all their thoughts onto some paper. So now I just headed over to Southwark and I'm going on the Dairy Milk bus. As I said, this isn't an ad on my vlog. I'm working with them on Instagram, but not on my vlog. But I have to take you guys along. This is a bus. How fantastic. Ooh, this is an edible menu. Delivering the goods. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, so just me. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sorry. Back, I oh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the food. Oh, wow. It's a bit bumpy. I'm holding dog in. Hello. Hey guys. 
guys just got back from the Cadbury van. It was so good. So we were there having afternoon tea on a bus. How cool is that? Chocolate out, but it's insane. As I said, this is not an ad on the vlog. This is just me telling you what I've been doing with my day. Um, but it is an ad over on my Instagram. And I'm just honored and thrilled to be working with Cabri over on Instagram because I mean, who doesn't love Cabri? I'm literally obsessed. I was joking with the team. I was like, if you cut me in half, I would bleed Cabri because it's so good. Um, oh gosh, what just fell? Ooh, um, I'm gonna save this bar that they gave me in a goodie bag at the end of the event for Matt. I'm gonna see what he says about it. So I'm gonna do some work now, tie my hair up on top of my head, and then I'm gonna go to a spin class. The start of the day was great at Robots. Robots is like a new rowing gym, and sadly everything overran, which meant I didn't actually get to do the workout. So I'm taking myself to a spin class instead. So I feel like I need a little bit of a workout today, some movement. But it was really nice to see the mental health workshop and more important than working out for me. I work out for my mind now as well. So I just wish I could have stayed a bit longer, but I didn't have the time. Um, so I'm going to go do some work and do a workout. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. guys and just like that I'm back in Yorkshire I'm just here for a quick pit stop because Matt's come back to watch a football so I've popped in to see my family as I've not been home for ages I'm just in a blaze class and I can't actually put any eye makeup on today because I'm not sure if you can see but I've got a real gammy eye I've got like a bit of an eye infection so we're going for the no makeup look um I've just dry shampooed my hair using this which was kind of gifted to me I found it in my office way super dry shampoo it's fantastic my hair feels amazing and then I got a little gift in my office of these insane <laughs> gym kit from Sweaty Betty. It's Lux Italian Fleece made using a recycled cotton blend and I love it. How nice is this? So yeah, I'm gonna get changed because I've just had loads of food, a nice healthy oat bar, which so many of you on Instagram have asked for the recipe for. So me and my mom will get that recipe sorted and then I'm just gonna go for once. I'm not gonna do any work today. I'm gonna go to Harrogate and we're gonna have a nice walk. I feel like I need some proper air because London air Ain't that fresh. So I'm gonna get some fresh air and then we're gonna have dinner at Betty's. A rarity. I'm wearing jeans. I never wear jeans. But I'm gonna try to stretch these babies out. And let's go for a little wonder. Guys, this is where my career started. Morrison's. I used to work here part time. I, I did two days a week alongside my studies. And I worked at All Saints as well. In this very building behind the fresh prep salad department. Yeah, that's why I love pizza so much, because I'm good at prepping them. Thank you. Little muffin run. Conkers. Oh, wow. So anyone used to collect conkers? Wow. day out in Harrogate. If you guys maybe aren't from Yorkshire or maybe you guys are from America, Harrogate is like a gorgeous little town, super close to my family home and yeah it's just like a little town with lots of little shops and stuff. So first we headed to Morrison's which is where I used to work, it's a British supermarket um, just because we needed to grab some stuff and then they had pumpkins, I love pumpkins, and then we headed to a little bakery, like a little bit local bakery, it's like a really healthy bakery, they use all natural organic things. I picked up six muffins and three brownies to take back to London tomorrow for Matt and I, um, very expensive brownie one, but worth it, one I'll be biting them tomorrow, and then we headed, we went for a walk around Valley Gardens, which is so nice, it's like where I grew up, so gorgeous little park, and then we headed to Betty's for dinner, I had a club sandwich, and lots of chips with a side of broccoli because hashtag balance. And you know what, I was laughing today because I was watching Insta stories that would have been in Yorkshire and someone said to me years ago at the BBC, he was like, you know what, you'll know when someone's from Yorkshire because they won't stop telling you that, you, that you, they're from Yorkshire. And I'm like, yeah, literally that is me. 
Yorkshire and proud. Right then, I am gonna have a bath. As you can see, I've got a face mask on. This was gifted to me, gosh, ages ago. Sun and Sky. I've used that old one before. This is a new formulation or new packaging. Flash Perfection Exfoliating Treatment to Mattify and Invigorate. And then I'm gonna have a bath, light, light some candles, and then I'm gonna use this again. This was gifted, not sure when. Um, I feel like this is on Feel Unique and Get Wasted Body Cream Affirming Fave High Intensity Body Care. So, Let's go for a nice bath and I'm going to sit in with the fam and watch Truly Come Dancing. So I didn't vlog Sunday in Yorkshire because I just wanted to spend the whole day with my grandparents. I wanted to be attentive to them and we just had the best day, loads of food, it was so nice. So I'm back in London now. I have just been catching up on loads of work and so I've just been doing a spin, hence the sweat. But I'm just going to make a soup. I, I, I sound like a grandma but I've been so excited to just make a soup. And I just want to make like a really nice healthy broth. I'm really into soup at the moment so I've just been saying to me use my nectar card. Those of you that aren't from the UK, a nectar card is just like, I don't know, a points card. It's like a loyalty card and I'm very excited. So I've got loads of veg and I'm going to try and make a little soup. So if I haven't vlogged today, I thought, oh, I'll vlog me making the soup because you might enjoy it. First, I'm going to boil some water and then chop my veggies. I'm using shiitake mushrooms for the first time in my life. My mum says they have more flavour. And they were really expensive, like double the price of normal mushrooms, so they better taste good. said I should add in a stock cube for flavour. The recipe I'm following doesn't have any stock cubes in it, but my mum was like, no, you need to add a stock cube then, 190 mils of water. We've got my mushrooms, my normal mushrooms, my shiitake mushrooms, some peas, some runner beans, some onions, a stock cube, lots of water, I think I probably put too much water in and I'm just letting it all boil away. Some salt, some pepper, I needed some garlic but I don't actually have it in my house. Some olive oil, I'm going to add some cumin, some coriander, salt, pepper and just basically let this bubble away and hopefully this is actually going to taste nice. But who knows, this is me. And then I turned around and realised that the lure pack is behind me and the carrots are behind me and the recipe also calls for some carrots and lure packs and I'm going to add that in. So I just had a little taste and it actually tastes quite good and my brother said it smells good so I'm just letting it simmer away, definitely put way too much water in it but you know, we learn from our mistakes. I went for coffee with my friend and she bought me this plate so I'm obviously going to serve some bread on that. on the doors. Matt prefers it when the vegetables are whisked up. Mm. Actual soup. Actual soup. Not just vegetables in draining water. I was trying to explain to him that I was making a spring vegetable broth, which is a type of soup rather than like a thick soup. But next time I'll make you a thick soup. I'm trying to make it healthy and not have to add like loads of cream and stuff. Yeah, not you have to add cream in yeah. yeah, to make like a thick soup is well, we could add tomatoes, but you don't like tomatoes. Really? Oh, well, I'm going to make him a spicy tomato soup next with minestrone and maybe a minestrone one, yeah? Mm. Um, but I test it. I like to swing vegetables. Adam liked it. We dumped loads of bread in it. It's all good. Leaking potatoes, good. 
Oh yeah, I could put potatoes in it and make it a bit carby. And now he's eating a plate of um, cake anyway. Guys, it's Wednesday. It's like rainy Noah's Ark outside. I'm opting for Autumn Essential, aka I don't want to wear uncomfy jeans. So I put a skirt on with boots. And then I have my Burberry coat on with a hoodie underneath because I don't really want to take an umbrella. My hair's feeling a bit minging today. Um, so I'm heading to Notting Hill this morning because I have a really nice breakfast event. So I will take you to that with me. It's a gifted press event that I've been invited to um, to learn more about skincare brand. Very excited. And Pharmacy is one of my favourite restaurants in the whole of London. So I'm going to have a nice breakfast and learn about skincare. I've got some other stuff going on. So let's start the day with breakfast and go outside into this rain. You get to know horrendous travel sickness. So just pop my hair on top of my head and you can see my camera's behind because I'm going to do some work. Okay, so here is what I got in my gifted goodie bag after the event. So we were matched up with our colour. I mean, I'm very pale right now. I've not put fake tan on in so long. I'm probably going to tan tonight. Um, and this is the SPF 30 Sun Cream. And the reason I like the sound of this foundation, again, I've not tried it, is because it's all mineral, broad spectrum with protection and it's also skincare within it. So yeah, it's got some very good benefits covers the appearance of redness after cosmetic procedures, plant style scents, antioxidants, and it's meant to nourish your skin as well. So it's like skincare within foundation. I love that. It was a little travel kit, which looks amazing. Um, and we basically learn about the products. It's a really nice brand that uses lots of natural products. That's why we went to pharmacy because lots of natural food. We had a little drink shot that the shot had loads of ingredients that are inside the products inside the shot. These will be perfect for traveling. And this is their or medic range. And then this, which is their lip enhancement, which I'm so excited because I used this in the restaurant and it made my lips plumped. This is a gel polisher, which again, I used on my hand and it's just amazing. So this just arrived. How cool does this look? This was kindly gifted to me. I actually didn't know it was coming. It just arrived. Um, how cool are these? My brother just tried one. He said it was nice. Um, no added sugar, little kind of, I guess I like, kind of like baby food, but for adults, like pouches, energy pouches. Um, really cool. This one's apple, mango, maca, magnesium. This one sounds amazing for like more of a breakfast blend, grab and go with oats. This one's got magnesium. Oh, this one's got collagen in as well. Just sound really good. I love stuff like this. Okay, I don't usually get parcels to this address because it's not my address for parcels, but I did allow this delivery because, wait for it, from my faves, a gifted little gift. What is inside here? Oh, wow. It says, refreshing your hair with a hint of colour. Just got a little sweeter. Shall we open this up? Okay, they are brownies. We've got coconut blondie. We've got the Oreo ones, my favourite. We've got the vegan dark chocolate and raspberry ones. Oh my goodness. Phew, so I've just been in some work. Now I'm going back out and I'm actually heading to a fragrance launch event which is going to be a little gifted manicure event that I'm having done so let's head there next. Then I have a workout at Robots because I went to their press launch the other day and I couldn't actually do the workout so they're letting me do a little session with them today instead and have invited me to that. Let's go! Tell me. So this is a pink one. Yeah, so today we are going to talk about Yes I Am Pink first, yes. which is the newest launch. It launched three weeks ago, um, exclusive to the fragrance shop. And not sure what you can remember about the red, but whereas the red was all about um, super strong feminine statement, all about the power to be whoever you want to be. Pink first is a little bit more about the power of optimism. So oh, we're I celebrating love that. the power to see the positive side of life. So good. Oh, they're not really cute, oh, don't they? So I'm just with Cacherelle and I got this little print on my nails to go with the perfume bottle for their new pink Yes I Am fragrance. I'm matching. Oh my gosh. Look how cool that is. How cool, best event ever. So now I'm just in the amazing bathroom which they've put their stickers all over. And I'm now just gonna get changed because I'm going to robots to do a fitness class that I've been invited to.
with Piero and Jace, and we're doing a Christmas card making workshop. Yay! And I'm excited, so we're gonna get some food, get our little plates of food, and then we're gonna make some designs to celebrate, yeah, to celebrate our um, Christmas kit. So, so. Okay, so this is my second design, which is also horrendous. Yes, he just decided to write my name. Candy Cane M Shell. Gangster M Shell. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to look at the products. Here we go, QVC. QVC QVC it for me. <laughs> These are the Christmas sets and the idea is they're reusable so you can use them and they've been designed by Melanie. Here we go, here she is. They've been designed by Melanie and we were doing designs like this. Yes. Hey, look I found. I'm back. I found a piece. Okay, so we've just been for some little drinkies. Eastern Standards, very good cocktail. Now we are heading to dinner with Beauty Blender. It's a press event that we've been invited to. And we're going, I think it's like a Christmas event. And we're going for dins. Christmas event in October. Yeah, food. <laughs> food, we're literally here for the food. Can't wait, let's go. Anyway, um, you know Beauty Blender, for those that don't know, I created it on set. I was one of the first makeup artists to ever department head a show being broadcast in high death, and it was a solution to a problem that I have as an airbrusher. Um, and I'm proud to say that I think maybe the show that I worked on was Girlfriends, and it may have an extended life coming back, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I will. Here she is! Oh wow, you got That's real flames! Oh my god, Danielle, this is like big flames. Which I do in my demonstrations, you can see when it's open that there is just makeup on the outside. So you're actually saving makeup, you're applying it more uh, consistently and smoothly. And you're blending it, you're doing the two actions at once. You put it on, and then you have to blend it. Guys, hello. So, it's Friday, and I'm going to end this vlog here, but I just quickly want to give you a little update on what happened on the week, because I didn't have much time to talk to the camera. So, since we last spoke, Robots was a really cool class. I'm so grateful that they invited me to go to their class after I missed their press event the week before. I would say it's kind of like rowing mixed with weights. I can hear a phone ringing. I don't know, it's not me. <laughs> um, rowing mixed with weights in my intervals, so I'm gonna go back because apparently it depends on which teacher you have, and I wanna try a few teachers, so it was really kind of them to invite me. Um, and a few people DM'd me on Instagram saying they wanna try that. So yeah, it's a really cool workout if you're in central London. And then last night, oh, it was really nice, so I went to the Purology gifting event day with Purology, obviously. Really cool to learn more about their brand as I've been using it for a long time, but it was nice to actually hear about it. It's 100% vegan and all their Christmas sets are eco-friendly and they've worked with an amazing designer, so that was cool. And I got to make my own Christmas cards. And then after that, I headed for drinks at Soho House, which I didn't film, because they don't let you film, with Danielle and Betsy, so it was nice just to be with two of my really good friends. And then we headed for dinner with Beauty Blender at a restaurant called Bob Ricard, which is, I would say, one of the best restaurants in London. I love it. It's like Russian British mix. It's so luxurious. And we met the founder of Beauty Blender who told us how to actually use a Beauty Blender properly. You are meant to fully drench the Beauty Blender and then squeeze it out, squeeze it out, 
and then you use it and you can use the bottom of the beauty blender for powder which I never knew about so we were there to celebrate their Christmas launch and it was a gifted press event now my socks here is the Christmas collection and it's got all the little beauty blenders inside which I'll show you here we go how insane is this oh you get a trial of the foundation you get the beauty blenders you get the sponges so cool and yeah you can use a bottom for powder she was saying this for like under eyes and then it needs to be wet so that they expand um we also learned a bit more about their primers she was saying like she likes to put the primers together so an spf one with this one and then i cannot wait to try the foundation also i was gifted these the other day as well how good do these look from Stila? midnight espresso suede shade for the eyes i can't wait to use these okay so, that's that. How excited. Getting me excited for Christmas. I'm the most annoying person ever. Like, I love Christmas so much. I get so excited. I'm so sorry if you guys hate that and you're like, I'm not ready yet. I know it's only October and we shouldn't really talk about it until after bonfire night, in my opinion, but I love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to get ready. I then have my house getting clean, so I'm going to tidy before the cleaner comes around. So, I'm going to start a new vlog today. And I will see you guys for another video on Sunday and then another video next Friday. Every Friday and every Sunday I upload. And if you are here to watch these videos, I love you so much. Come say hi over on Instagram. There's lots of new pictures on there that you guys probably haven't seen. Big love. Bye. Have a great weekend.